Loose Umbre, and welcome back to Alright, so we are back into the investigation and all that jazz. Uh, we are saw inside the box. So now, do you have to talk to Kyoko? I don't know. I'm gonna talk to this though. Or look at this. Huh? This picture. It's so precious! It's all faded. It must be pretty old. Wait, this is a picture of... Hey, Kyoko! Why would you... Well, this is annoying. I can't even cut myself free of the past. And yet... Yeah, because your father loved you! To now find something like this. So what do you expect me to do now? And I was right. I picture Kyoko when she was a little girl. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all the time. He must have really cared about her. Why? 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 I'm going to face him and tell myself to cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the reason I came here, and now he's abandoning me again. And this time, he was hoping the opportunity I had to move on. I said I've been a worse father. Kyoko. Picture of Kyoko and the headmaster. That's sad. Like, the file cabinet, a filing cabinet like you'd see. Uh, seems like the kind of place you'd find a clue. I should take a closer look, but I don't think Kyoko would like a stranger like me touching her dad's stuff. Hey. It's fine. Check whatever you want. Are you sure? Okay, then. <sighs> I went through each drawer one by one, starting from the top. All I found was pile of paper, piles and piles of unrelated documents. He was pretty dedicated to his job, huh? Well? It's just because he didn't have anything else. He could have inherited our family business, our legacy. Instead, he left it all behind. Well, yeah. If he couldn't even handle a job like this, he would have been much more of a failure. I'm sure he couldn't stand the thought of that, and it made him desperate. Okay! Thanks, my dude! The headmaster's desk is probably hiding some kind of clue, so I really want to check it out, but I really don't want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without permission. Hey. Don't worry about me. Feel free to... Look around as much as you'd like. Are you because... sure? Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Okay, then if you don't mind. It's time to look. Starting from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. I rummaged through each one, finding nothing but unrelated documents. But in the last drawer... Huh? Is this... It's a neat handbook, right? It has a label on it that says, In case of emergency. I found some kind of emergency handbook at the headmaster's Never desk. Worked. A handbook with no lim limitations, given to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what it is. I think you're probably right. Seems... It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? Huh? But Kyoko? Bye. I don't need it. If you don't want to go ahead and leave it here, then I will guess I'll take it. Is this really okay? Are we talking to her one more time? I know where to take this. Hey. Listen, Makoto. Huh? Can I ask you a favor? A favor? What is it? So... I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. I know it will only convenience you that much more, but could you leave? Huh? Correct. Just for a little while. I'd just like to be alone for a little bit. Kyoko. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little. Just a I need to get my emotions in order. You know, Kyoko, you told me before about the relationship you have with your dad. How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul, but... Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you're going to say? If so, it's just a theory. And this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. The picture doesn't change the fact of what happened, what I went I... through. The problem can't be solved so easily. You're right. Anyway. I'm sorry. Once I've gotten myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. Okay, I understand. Then I'll see you later. To be fair, despite of, it doesn't matter how good a detective you are, if it involves your family, it's gonna affect you. So I understand this completely. Is she really okay? She will be. Kyoko must be a complete shock to her. I mean, it was shock to me. Seeing, to find out what happened to the headmaster, to her father. Find bones in there. There's no doubt the headmaster, the mastermind performed that evil deed. They killed the headmaster, killed Kyoko's father. They killed him. The headmaster is dead. The one leading the host peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you. 
was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. But we are wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind, which means the mastermind's true identity is... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. I know, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you so already, but the killer game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people that take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. The team must men in the main hall had Mukuro and that to make you get 16, including me. Only six of us still are still alive. Everyone else is dead. Sayaka, Junko, Leon, Chihiro, Mundo. I can't even. I can't name them fast enough. Slow down. It was. It was. It was. It was. Uh. Oh my fucking god. It was fucking. Um. I'm trying to remember the, the their names. Oh my god. Oh my, what were their names? It was the ultimate student morals member. And there was also the ultimate artist. Or, yeah, artist I'm gonna say for right now. That's not correct. Um, it was Sakura. I remember she died. It was uh, Celeste. She died. Who were the other two? Hifumi and... Ta, te, ah. The ultimate moral committee's member. What was his name? It's gonna come to me like later in this episode because it's gonna bother me so much. Even Mukuro, even she's undeniably dead. So the ones still left alive are me, Byakuya, Hiro. Toko, Asahina, and Kyoko. Only those six people are still alive. There's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There has to be. Let's check out the computer now. It's pretty much belonged to Headmaster. You already went through it, though, didn't you? Oh, fine. Can I leave this room at least? Yes. Okay, I can. So I can now go back to... It was the bedroom. No, it wasn't a room. Fuck. Okay, so I wasn't. I was in the right floor. I just forgot that this was the room. So I was in the different floor. Okay, so I need to be in here because I need to check out these lockers. I know I need to. I'm gonna open this locker. Nope, locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. It must be how you get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to card readers on the locker floor on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your e book to open those. Does that mean? Well, let's give it a try. I took out my e -ham my handbook and ran across the card reader, and then no luck. Maybe the only lock can be open, which means none of us can do it. But wait, what about the emergency handbook I found that headmaster's hidden room. Okay, let's give it one more try. That's why I need it. I took the emergency handbook out that ran across that and ran that across the card reader, and all right, that's what I was hoping for. Now let's see what we got inside. This should be Kyoko's, practically empty. Except for a notebook. There's this one thing, some kind of pocketbook. I don't see a name written on, so I can't say for whose it is. Something written inside, that could be important. I don't like violating the owner's privacy, but I better take a look. It looks like a girl's handwriting, and all the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote it was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must have been very meticulous. Huh? I still think the pocket might hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there, words I've heard before. Hey, there's a thumbnail. As a plan to host Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in a communal life, I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly. It just happened to be the headmaster, my father. He was willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. The point is to keep our students, our student prodigy safe, to keep them as our hope for the future. Only their genius can overcome disaster and only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of our country, our world, it's not an extravagant extravagation to call this our final hope. We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world to serve as a foundation for a new era. This is the only hope we have. I hope that you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. 
So even at Hope's Peak, even at Hope's Peak, she didn't like her father. This can't be true, can it? But I knew it was. I knew exactly who the pocket belonged to. Kyoko, it couldn't be anyone else. But Blanc Kyoko, what was doing this locker? And what she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. Yeah, she hasn't seen her dad since he left when she was little. I said I talked to the one who came up with the plan directly. So having to be the headmaster and my father. What does this all mean? I quickly scanned the remaining page of the notebook. It must have been looking I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about this whole thing. But when I reached the last page, the question mark spinning through my head it started spinning much, much faster. How much faster? Fuck. When I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy, disorganized, scrawled. Despair walked among us, and so we survived. There was a second despair. What is this? What does it mean? I have no idea. How could this possibly make any sense? I understand, but that's a different story. Can I click on something? Oh, no, okay, okay. So I need to click on a second locker. Because we should find a miniature handbag with a cross card reader, and I can open it! Nice! Now, since man can be a clue, it's the last one. The last one should have something, right? The handbag with a cross card reader, and I open the locker, and I'll see what we got inside. I don't say anything, it might be a clue. Really? Wait, this one maybe? Uh. Okay, open that. Let's see anything outside. Don't say it might be a clue. Um, there's, I think, one or two more. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got inside. Here we go. This locker is totally disorganized. Whoever it belonged to has organization problems in every part of their life. But can you guess who it belongs to? This is a crystal ball. A crystal ball. No, it, it can't be. There's no way he ever used this locker. It's just not possible. Uh, there's all kind of textbooks and notebooks stacked up in no particular order. There's dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever this stuff is didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. I'm trying to act casual and natural as possible. I picked up one of the notebooks I saw. The moment I looked inside the notebook, any sense of ease that I have evaporated. Yasuhiro Hakagu Hagakure, if you cannot read that. What? There's no time when I saw it. Inside the notebook was written Yasuhiro Hagakure. Well, I didn't have to read that shit. Fuck y'all. This is our Yasuhiro? My book contains a large number of notes and a variety of different classes. Which would mean he attended classes here? No, that, that can't be possible. I mean, Hiro came to school at the same time as the rest of us. And we were all stuck in this, sucked into this evil world. We never had a chance to take any classes. So what is this notebook? Okay, let's check out the, can I check out the bomb hat? I, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. But the more I see, the less sense it makes because these lockers, I mean, they had to belong to the previous students, right? So why am I seeing this? Why are the things in lockers that look like they belong to people here? A notebook that seems that seems like it belongs to Hiro, and a pocketbook that seems like it belongs to Kyoko. There has to be some kind of explanation. If I were to find out, I have to keep moving and investigate forward. I have to believe in everyone. All right, so let me check if there's any more. Is this locker can be open? Take me more to handbook. Uh, look like I'll go in. I don't see anything that might be a clue. Okay, everything else is not a clue. I'm not even gonna bother going through the lockers that are, uh, that are like, destroyed. I didn't get to look at the computer! You didn't even look at the computer! Um, this is a school. Monokuma, you didn't even look at the computer! The gym. What? Now he wants to give us a hint? It's suspicious, no doubt about it. This could be a trap, but even knowing that, so I go to the gym, right? I don't like this. I needed to check the computer. It wouldn't let me. Oh, hey, Hiro. Oh, huh, Makoto. Why do you act so surprised? Um, oh, no reason. You are Monokuma's announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? I, I just did actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him. What do he say? Listen, sorry, but I, I gotta go. Hiro, wait! Someone tried to stop me and ran off like a frightened animal. Hiro? It was like he was trying to avoid me. Someone talked about the notebook I found in the locker. Has he been hiding something this whole time? What is... This is not in the anime. Monokuma, what do you have for me? It's just me in here. Alright, boy. I'm ready for your shit. What you gotta tell me? Hello, welcome, welcome, hello! 
are you ready for your final hint? Well, it just so happens to be in the envelope on the ground in front of you. The envelope? What do you have for me, Monokuma? This must be the envelope. <laughs> just, so, just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. What? Don't worry, just get on with it. I know what this is now! Monokuma's cryptic words didn't make me feel any better, but I picked up the envelope and opened it. I know what this is. What I found was a single photograph. Yes! With Junko's face hidden and no and no Makoto. Featured much of face I recognize extremely well. It was everyone who'd come to Hope's Peak at the same time as me. But wait, but there's something behind, someone behind Sayaka. She's the only one I don't recognize. That's not true. I do recognize her. That's right. When Biyaku and I were in the headmaster room and we looked at that file, Makoto Ikusaba. And this girl is... Wait, what? Why? Why is Mukuro here with everyone else? I mean, even more than that. Just having everyone here posing this is weird enough in itself. And we're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like this. And now I'm looking at that. It's not even everyone. I'm not in the picture. I'm the only one not there. The picture has all 15 students, but not me. I guess it makes sense. After all, I don't remember ever taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Sayaka, but the first time I met everyone was when I arrived at Hope Peak Academy. So it was natural for me not to be in this picture, but what's definitely unnatural is everyone else is in the picture and looking all happy and, you know, I mean, except for Biaki and Celeste, who, you know, they look pretty normal. I thought everyone was like me and didn't know each other until they got here. But if this picture is real, then could that mean, could it be everyone else and just me? Everyone else here except me is, <laughs> how long are you gonna keep up this rambling soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? You You're kind of getting in the way standing there, you know? So I mean, get out. But I told you I'm not fielding any questions. What kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? That'd be totally out of left field. Oh, well, they've gone off the rail again. I guess it means he's done talking. Damn it. <laughs> I now realize what that was all about. Can I go check out the computer now? Because I need to check it out. From then, all I found in the gym was even more confusion. And with that confusion, hand left the gym dejected. Will I meet anyone in here before I leave? How does that count as a hand? That's me even more confused. Is that what Makuma was going for? Did he put together a fake photo to just confuse me? But it looks so real, so full of life. How could anyone fake that? Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should just ask everyone directly. I should clear all this up. No, I have to clear this up. Okay, no one's in here. Yes, leave this area. Let's see what else I have to check out. So, I... Is anyone else here? No. What is this room? Archive? That's different. What's in the archive that Byakuya wants to check out? I'm not surprised. Byakuya loves being in the archive. And I'm going to only go check this out because I know I can check those computers. But I just want to see what's on here. So check the archive where Byakuya is. What up, my dude? Hey, how you doing? Oh, huh, Byakuya! L listen, do you think we could talk? Byakuya? I have nothing to talk to you about. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. <laughs> hey, Byakuya, wait! But of course he didn't. He just walked away. What the? Why was he acting like that? Like he was purposely trying to avoid me. Ah, oh, fuck me. The garden. Oops. Let's go to the garden, I guess. Yes, he does there, so maybe he has something for me? I don't know. I'm now... Like, again, this game is more in detail than the anime, so there are going to be times where I'm, like, 1% lost. Hey, Hiro! Uh, Makoto! What's going on with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. No, I... No. Sorry, I'm in a big hurry. Once again, he ran like a terrified rabbit. Hiro, what's wrong? I was able to talk to him about the notebook I found. It's like he was avoiding me, like he was afraid of me. Why? I don't actually understand that. Why would you be afraid of... Hold on a second. Map. I saw the visit lab one more time, and the first time I saw him when I got there was her. Pass out. Again. 
Toko? Oh, she opened a body! Toko, are you okay? No, no, she's not dead, is she? Yeah! Huh? It's cold. It's freezing cold. It's so cold. I think I might catch a cold. If you keep taking naps in places like this, I'm sure you will. What? I was asleep? I must have fainted again. I bet you were standing there saying me getting all excited, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Oh, then what? Hot and bothered? Straight up horny? Um, no. So, why did you pass out? I don't know. Let's remember it was me waking up just now. What do you mean, Miss... Um, uh, Morose? What? Oh... Oh, that's right. You remember your memory stops and starts every time you switch. Bingo bazinga! We said some basic knowledge, but our memories are very much separate. And don't say it's like a bad thing. It's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Because even if she forgets something, I totally remember. So it's like a double the memory. Um, no, it's more like half. Just a Jack's memory. Okay, cool. But what I wonder right now is where's my little darling? Tell me now or I'll slit you through. I don't know. I'm sure Bianca's on somewhere doing his own investigation. Yes. By himself? I assume so. I knew, I totally knew. I'm like a pro when it comes to all things master. Anyways, I got hurt. I can't imagine how lonely Matt he must be right now. <laughs> well, she left. Toko shot off and her ear laughed after go behind her. Oh, I totally forgot to ask about the picture. Well, there's no point asking Jess like Jack anyways. Besides, there's more important things I have to do right now. Why Toko faint? There's gotta be some reason for it. And it's this. It's a dead body. The fridge is open. I'm sure they were all so tight last time I was here. That must be why she passed out. Right. She made it so easily. Kyoko, that is surprising me. It's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? Indeed. I'm sorry I made you worry. No, you, you don't have to apologize. Listen. But listen, about this room. Oh yeah, it's, it's a morgue. Y yeah, I, knew. I expected as much. And Toko must have looked inside the fridge, seeing what was in there, and well, you have it. You knew she fainted? Indeed. I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. I assumed she must have sneezed, and once I got inside, the real reason became clear. I imagine she came to investigate, and when she opened the slot there, that's when she shot the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. And everything's gotta be so difficult for her, or why, whatever. Anyways, you should close up. I don't want to leave it hanging open like that. Yeah, good idea. Give me a hand with this. Kyoko approached the fridge, hands outstretched. But suddenly, she stopped. What's wrong? Maybe we should wait a second for closing it. Oh, come. Because Makuto's body is in here. Makuto's corpse? Makuto's body inside the fridge? It's like every other time. The masterminds probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The mastermind did it? Because they assumed we wouldn't be doing the glass trial over again, I guess. So... You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a look at the body. Oh, that's right, Kyoko had a chance, a chance to check the body during the last investigation. I do my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm going to find clues this time, and I'm going to grab the mastermind by the trial. Okay, so what should I do? So Why don't you just wait over there? I'll let you know so I'm finished. Just wait over there, that's it? You don't let me hang out or anything, girl? Um, should I leave then? I should ask you about the group photo. Because everyone but me is in there. After all, she's in it too. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I want to talk to you about something. What is it? It's about the announcement Marco made earlier. You mean the one about a hint or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Huh? Why not? Because the only reason he'd give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us or cloud our judgment. I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever hints he may have to offer. That's a good point. I wish I could go back and do the same thing, but what's done is done, I guess. Standing here and looking at her, I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? Did the mastermind forge that picture as a trap to confuse us? That's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. So should I leave? Or should I... It's a fridge meant to store dead bodies. I can't do- I can't look inside. Is there anything else I can do in here before I leave? I've already looked through this instruction manual, so can I- I can't leave it the way things are right now. Okay, so I guess I have to talk to Kyoko again. I should ask her about the group photo. I already talked to her. She's in it. Um. Because... Are you for real? Wait. What about this? Well, so the fridge bunch of blue lights on. But these aren't. We've seen the blue lights come from when a slot is occupied. There you go. So when someone's in there, the blue light comes on. Looking around, the number of lights are on, including Mukuro's. There's nine in all. Nine. Nine lights? That's what I've been wanting. 
No, okay, hold on a second. Is there anything else I can check in here? Um, l let me talk to her again, because there's nine lights on. There should be ten. I just... No! Ah! Why you only let me talk about the fucking group photo? Okay, let me check then. The tarp. You know, I've already seen these in there. Blah, blah, blah. Same what I found. Remember the tarp? Fire lab. It came from in here. At some point. Okay, so tarp came from there. And then, okay, Makoto, I'm done. Already? Jeez, that was fast. Anyone can do good work if they're slow. In that sphere, I'll make my report brief. Okay. So, did you find anything? I pay careful attention to the wounds and the traces of blood. It seems highly likely that the stomach wound and blow to the back of the head were inflicted after death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. That means either those were the fatal injury, right? Then what was the fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim identities I'd known. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which was completely through the body. They'd also been struck in the head with an object about stick of a metal pipe. The body was covered in other wounds, but these were at least several days old. I don't know those other wounds, but the files said they were old. Right? Where does it say they were uh, old? Huh? Because... All the Monokuma files say they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the difference. Wrong. Well, the difference is immense, considering the impression they give. You s seem to be acquainting several days old several days old was simply However, old. But that doesn't quite follow logically. Old wounds make it seem like they're... They've been there forever. Like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But we've got the Monokuma files right after she was killed, right? So if these wounds are at least a few days old, there'd be no way it could have anything to do with it. But what if Mukuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? At the very least. Certainly you can allow it to be one of the many possibilities, can't you? One of the many. A detective doesn't have supernatural powers. There's no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible scenarios as they can. They envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. Then, as they investigate, they test what they find against each of these possibilities. Of course, me telling this doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. But beyond using that to solve their this particular murder, you should keep in mind for the future. Okay. Hey. So, is there anything else you'd like to know about the condition of body? Now it's time. I'm thinking of this one thing. Otherwise, look at Mukuro's profile. It lists her height and so... weight: five foot seven inches, seventy nine, ninety seven pounds. Vitals were thirty one, twenty two, thirty two. Did I get that right? You remembered all that? They were indeed consistent with the corpse. So then. Indeed. And don't forget about the Fenway tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Our victim in this case, without doubt, Mukuro Ikusaba. Okay. And? Is that all you want to ask? Yeah, I think so. so then. then it looks like we have no further prison with Mukuro's body. Let's get going. It's kind of chilly in here. Wait, you're not going to put the body back? Don't you think it's kind of sad leaving me out like this? Right. Sad? You forget? She was our enemy once. A part of the ultimate despair. But she still got killed. She's still a victim. Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow? Yeah, but still. You really are naive, you know that? It's really quite appalling. She could have abandoned me. She decided to help me instead. So for so someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? You. That's what it means to be naive. I think we've done all we can here. Back to our separate investigations, yes? Oh, hold on. So one more thing to do. I still have to talk to Kyoko about the photo. Oh, the notebook. And it's about the pocketbook I found in the locker. If I don't do it now... Hey, yo, girl, I got a question for you. Hey, Kyoko, I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. Go ahead, then. Out with it. I... You... Have you really not see, seen your dad once since you got here? What? So... What do you mean? Well, you know those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? Yes, I do? Yes. But to get into those lockers, you'd need to get the handbook of whoever the locker belonged to. Actually, I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. When you find the headmaster's hidden room. So, do you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? I found a pocketbook, and after looking through it, I think it must be your pocketbook. Why is that? What makes you say that? Because... Like I said, the only locker owner should be able to get into it, right? I can't imagine those lockers belong, belong to any of us. After all, we only get access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is, no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. And if I did have a pocketbook... Why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster. About your father. 
If that's true. Could that mean that video is real too? Video? Makoto, I think everything is starting to fit together to reveal a cohesive picture. Although I'm afraid the picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. What are you talking about? I need to go investigate those lockers right now. I need to confirm what you said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the headmaster handbook. That way you can... So... That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have a problem opening the locker with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker? Hold if you watch this, it will all make sense. A DVD. It says, Class 78, Urgent Interviews? So... I found this in the hidden room after you left. I don't have time to explain exactly what I think it means. Just watch it and see for yourself. I think you'll realize exactly what it means. I don't understand why you found my pocketbook in a place none of us have ever seen before. None of this makes sense right now. I guess that means there's some some important clue on this DVD. Nice song. Oh, and now it's my turn. Do you have a second list of my ramble? Ramble? In other words. So as it turns out, the arrangement I made, it didn't stick. What I mean is I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. You're talking about your dad, right? I can never find the answer to the question I want to ask for the rest of my life. And all because of the mastermind. However, but there's something I am sure of. When it comes to the mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I, I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is one more reason to follow through on that. Kyoko's eyes burn with the fire determination. Determination to feed the mastermind. And strange to be confronted with his death and death and suddenly feel this way. I couldn't care less about my fa if my father had found happiness. Why? So why is it, why does it bother me so much to know if he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's no understanding it, I guess. She had a small laugh. She said that, but her smile was filled with sorrow. Oh. So that's it for my rambling. There's still so much to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. Hey. But keep this in mind. There's only one ever absolute truth. Whether the truth serves justice or suffering, whether it's the greater truth or the worst. What do you mean? Makoto. Even the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness. You can't. You still can't give up hope. Absolutely not, because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry if that was so strange. Dumb. Anyways, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Leave behind the final farewell, Kyoko was gone. I beg you going myself. I got the DVD from Kyoko. I shut the AV room and check it out. Kyoko said something about hopeless truth. But no matter what happens, I won't lose hope. Even if it's the worst truth in the world. I can't afford to lose. And that's it for this episode. Because I'm about like half an hour long. Sorry about that. Anyways, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check my other videos. Check out my games. Let me know what you think of this game in the comment section below. I should be done in about four episodes from now. Including this episode. Because I should. it should take me about two, three episodes to finish up the class trial and all that jazz. And I should be also at the class trial next episode. Hopefully we will find out. Either way, don't forget to say Myth Call. See y'all next time. Goodbye, my lovelies.